and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Because we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Today, Bob. Brad, we're going to talk about hand and finger exercises using a Chin using Chinese medicine balls yep. to reduce pain and stress. Yeah, it's a combination. It's rather interesting what uh, these medicine balls uh, can do for you. So we're going to get some detail on that in uh, just a few moments. All right. If you're new to our channel, please take a second to oh. subscribe to us. We provide videos on how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free. And we upload every day. Also, we're always giving something away, which Brad was just demonstrating below. We're giving away the grip strengthener. If you want a grip of steel, you want a grip of like a gorilla, you want to be able to crush alligators, we'll this is your deal. Carry on, Bob. Uh, go to bobandbrad.com. Go to the giveaway section. And uh, you can just give us your email, and, and we'll put you in the contest. Also, you can go to Bob and Brad Facebook. If you want shorter versions of Bob and Brad, like one-minute versions yes. of us, go to Twitter and also, what's the other one? Instagram. Yeah, my wife would go for, for the shorter version. She yeah, just no can't kidding. take that much of me anymore. Yeah, I can understand that. <laughs> oh, wow, Bob. I'm telling you. So there's a little story about the Chinese medicine balls okay. that, that we're going to do. That looked like a little, uh, like... A music box or this, something. Yeah, that's what they come in. Actually, you know, I used to be in the martial arts actively for about 20, 20, well, about 17 years, I take it back. And someone gave these to me as a gift. I mean, it was a oh, long cool. time ago. Um, and, and sure enough, this is how they typically come. And there they are. They usually have uh, some nice decoration on there. They got some uh, Chinese dragons on there. Yeah, really and nice. You know, there's a lot of history behind these. They're made for hand exercise. Yeah. Can you hear it? You hear that? Yeah. yeah. They, they started out hundreds of years ago in Chinese in the, in the Meng Dynasty, but they use it for hand exercises. Uh, and they found out also uh, that they could be stress, relie stress reliever and uh, reduce anxiety. Okay. And as since then, uh, they've e even said there's some claims of it uh, improving memory as well as improving your sleep quality. All right. Well, so, I don't know about that. But yes. Now, you know, we'll, we'll throw it in there, but uh, they make lots of claims, don't they? Right. Well, so. you know, who, who are we to judge, Bob? But as a therapist, and I was just showing Liz, who's an occupational therapist assistant, uh, how to use these. And we all agree that they're good things for dexterity of the fingers, strengthening, range of motion, uh, all these things that may occur after an injury or weakness of the hand. Or if you got arthritic hands and fingers and you want to get those hands moving, uh, they can be used. Well, I, uh, these are not that far off from the new fidget spinners. Sure. You know, there's the things that people with ADD tend to use. Mm -hmm. And... The people I've talked to, a lot of, I know a lot of people with ADD, they said it really does help. It really sure. helps keep them focused. And it's a, you know, a device. That, so I'm sure this would serve the same purpose. Sure. You bet. You know, just, this is the, the thousand year version of right. fidget spinners. It, exactly. You know, so, um, so, you know, I'm just going to demonstrate. Now I have these for years and I put them in my drawer and I kind of forgot about them sure. for about 20 years now. Yeah. Uh, so I'm not real good at them, but you know, you can Google this and you can see people that are extremely good. Now I'm just doing this with one hand. You got that in focus there, Liz. Thank you. Um, you can go, I, I have a really hard time going the other direction, but I can go this and direction. Same okay. With me. I was me too. That was the, uh, and you can hear the chimes in them. You can get yeah. that going. Um, if the better you get, if you can do them without touching each other, that's uh, advanced. Uh, that's tougher. Yeah, it is tougher. Oh, a lot tougher. And if you have a the bigger the diameter of the ball, it also gets a little more difficult to do as well. Makes sense to me. And then. I'm right hand dominant. If I go with my left hand, I can do it, but it's clearly more difficult, and I have to think harder on it. And my fingers get. I tried this for about two minutes. And my fingers were getting fatigued, and it was uh, clearly an exercise as well. So Do you want to try, Bob? Oh yeah, for some of our older, uh, for some of our older uh, fans here, or, or viewers, Bob. viewers, yeah, <laughs> we don't want to call them fans. Yeah, people that just show up. Yeah. Um, you might remember the movie The Cane Mutiny with Humphrey Bogart. Humphrey Bogart, it's yeah. dating us. So yeah, he he played Captain Quig, which I I didn't actually see the movie, but I remember he had 
steel or metal balls. If you didn't see the movie, how could you? I don't know. It's, it's a famous movie, and oh. I remember seeing, you know, clips from it. Oh, okay. And whenever he was stressed out, he would put he would take the balls and start using them. Oh, really? So it was like a major symbol of the movie. Sure, um, sure. So, so if you're a crazy guy, you know, this might help calm <laughs> well, you down. That's why I think my wife gave them to me. She just yeah. start using these, and so that's why I got them out in the last few days. Weeks kind of a so. cool thing. I mean, again, uh, I, I think it like predates the fidget sp uh, spinners, and 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 uh, it can give you a little workout and help calm you down stress wise. I right, mean, and I keep think you more focused. Get those fingers really removing. Look at that thumb; it really works. That thumb. I've seen the videos; just people just effortlessly making these things spin like very quickly. Is is it's interesting? Now, if you are interested, you can get these quite cheaply online, but be careful. Make sure you look at the reviews. Uh, there was uh, warnings on getting them too cheap, and they're just not. The quality's not there. Uh, the yeah, the like ceramic little, falls apart. And you like a little weight to them, too, I'm sure, right? Well, they're actually... They started out solid, and then they got them hollow. That was a big thing, you know, hundreds of years ago to get hollow balls. And sure. then they put the little chimes in there, which is a, a nice little uh, uh, addition to them. So just make sure you get some good ones. Don't be afraid to spend a few extra dollars. They're still relatively cheap. And you get a nice little box with them, you know, and then you have a place to put them so they don't roll around. If you put them on a the table, they'll roll off. It kind of reminds me of I, I like to play poker yeah and, uh, you know everybody plays with their chips uh, and i do i just keep uh, it's kind of a stress reduction because you're trying not to show that you're stressed out when uh someone's betting against you so you, i just keep playing with my chips as, yeah uh, and they don't know what cards i have can you roll them from finger to finger a little bit yeah because i bit. saw that on tombstone doc holiday yeah, well, they, they can do all f i can i can do it i do yeah. a couple fingers this is the point where the viewers are saying they're starting yeah, no. to babble they yeah, start turning they're off. way past that already. so very good that the the, the the boating balls or the chinese medicine balls i think they're a good deal it's low price Got some good potential, and uh, there they are. There we go. Thanks for watching.